Hi, I uh, thought I'd do another little video. Uh, this time it's uh, not a particularly glamorous subject. Um, lens hoods and lens caps. Uh, now if you own any of these lenses you might find it of interest and even if you don't uh, there might be a, a similar solution for a, for a lens you do own. So uh, I'll start off with um, uh, I like JJC uh, products. No endorsement um, other than the fact that I personally like them. No affiliation but and the reason I like them um, when it comes to lens hoods is that they are a fraction of the cost of the uh, manufacturers ones. I believe every lens should be supplied with a lens cap. Um, uh, sorry, lens hood rather. Um, oh indeed a lens cap as well for that one. <laughs> I'm sure you get a lens cap for your money but you don't very often seem to get a lens hood. Um, okay so this is a JJC one. It's a, I'll give you the model numbers as I go along. It's an LHJ48B. Um, it's a metal hood uh, for my, uh, in this case it's my Olympus 17mm 1.8 and uh, apart from the fact as I say that they are significantly cheaper I also like this particular one because like a lot of their uh, products it actually accepts an external uh, lens cap on the end rather than have to hunt around trying to dig out the, in this case the 46mm cap that fits inside there so that's a, that is in a fifth, uh, like a lot of mine, a 50 no, 62, that particular one, 62mm. I say like a lot of mine because a lot of these ones I'll, I'll go through actually I standardised on 58mm um, because my filters, my two filters that I occasionally use, like my, um, uh, well I'll show, show one of them, um, this is my KNF Concepts uh, neutral density filter, variable neutral density filter to be correct. There it is. Um, this particular one is, uh, oh, what is this one? It's an ND8 to ND128. But that is a 58mm filter thread. Okay? So, or I've chosen a 58mm filter thread. It comes in different sizes, of course, because that's what I standardised on. Now, that will fit on to the end of a lot of these uh, hoods as I, as I show you as I go along. Incidentally, it takes a 62mm uh, cap, and that is to stop uh, vignetting. Okay, so I keep a cap on that one, so when I'm using it, it's got a lens cap on it um, in place of whatever cap uh, is on the lens. Okay, so that was a slight um, tangent there, but uh, okay, so I've showed you that one, so I'll show you a, a few more. Um, get that one out of the way for a minute, I want to bounce it off the floor. Uh, right, next lens, next lens hood. Um, this is my Sigma Art 60mm which takes a 46mm thread. Ironically this is one of a couple of lenses that are, I'm going to go through which actually came with a hood. But I've chosen to uh, swap it over for this uh, JJC LN 46S which is a 46mm hood. Um, and the reason for that is it take a 58mm cap straight on the end as you see which uh, obviously makes uh, makes it easier rather than try and dig around inside the uh, lens, even the proprietary lens hood for, to change the cap. But importantly for me, it takes a 58mm filter thread. Uh, it has a 58mm filter thread, so it'll take something like that KNF concept directly on the end. Okay, so that's that one. So that's a Sigma Art 60mm lens. Not, not a very nice sharp lens, actually. Very good. Uh, uh, value for money. Now another lens that I've, um, let's try not to juggle too many lenses, I'll put one away as I go. The next lens here is this one and this is my Olympus um, 50mm 1.8 which has got exactly the same lens hood on it um, as I just showed you on the Sigma for exactly the same reason. So again it's an LN 46S. Uh, again filter thread on the end, lens cap on the end. Um, so that's that's those lenses. Uh, moving on, uh, there is this one here, which is my Lumix 20mm 1.7. Now that you won't be surprised to know has got another JJC hood on it. It's a LH46GF uh, hood, and because it's 46mm thread on that on that lens, and. This takes a 55mm cap direct on the end, uh, but 
it also has a 55mm thread in there. So just like the others, you can put a filter on the end. Uh, and again, I can use those KS, KNF Concept ones uh, or any, uh, any filter like that, 58mm filters, I'm going to use a uh, step up ring to get it from 55 to, uh, to, to 58 um, Now, next lens, uh, again another Lumix, uh, a, a little tiny little pancake 14mm lens. God, is that light? <laughs> uh, now, same hood. Although it isn't the same hood, it's just a different make, but it, to all intents and purposes it's just the same hood as you were just looking at on the on the 20 mil there. Um, and it's uh, apart from the, the difference in colour. Now you see that one hasn't got, um, uh, as yet, I've ordered one up actually, another 55 mil cap like uh, the one I showed you here on the on the 20 mil. Um, and I'm getting one for the same reasons. Uh, it's threaded just the same as the other. 55mm uh, thread on the end, put on a, a step up ring if you need to uh, get it to a larger filter. But you see, even with the cent centre pinch cap, which I put on some time ago, now the Lumix cap that comes with this, you, you haven't got a chance of getting that off because it's a side pinch cap, you just can't even get your fingers in there enough to, to, to get the lens cap on and off. Now, I replaced it with this 46mm centre pinch, which does come off, it's not too bad. Um, as a, but it's still it's still fiddly, um, as you as you can see, <laughs> made even fiddlier by me. Uh, I'm not making a very good job of that at the best of times. But you know it is fiddly, and and, and I don't want to be mucking up. Here we go. I don't want to be mucking around like this uh, when I can so I can fit uh, the same setup as I've got on the on the twenty mil there. Okay, now this is my. Um, Olympus 9 to 18 millimeter. Um, now, again, a JJC hood, a plastic hood, um, just the same to all intents and purposes as the prior proprietary one. Uh, an LHJ 55B. Um, now, the nice thing about this, this particular hood is not that it's anything special there, as you can see, it's just a lens hood. But if you also own, or even if you don't own, um, one, that one, but if you own one of these, um, which is the Olympus uh, 12 to 50 millimeter lens, I got this because it came with a, a, a body as a kit some years ago. Uh, that uh, lens hood, or this lens hood, will fit that lens as well. Same bandit mount, same um, uh, 52 mil uh, filter thread. Uh, so that. That's quite a good investment for one, the other, or, or in my case, uh, um, both. Um, and I only discovered that a while afterwards um, when I was looking for a, a, a hood for the 12 to 50. I thought, well, I've already got one for the uh, 9 to 18, which I can easily, easily swap over. Okay, so lastly, um, let's put this this, uh, this lens here away, just in case I end up dropping it or knocking it. Uh, lastly, there is some. Um, this, um, not the camera, the lens again and the hood. This is my, uh, it's fitted here to my EM5 Mark II, but this is my tiny little Lumix 12-32, uh, to 32, which is a lens that I absolutely love. Uh, I think you can see the size of it, uh, let alone the weight of it, it's nothing. Now, JJC hood again, LH37EP2. I think that's two as in the Roman numerals, numerals and not II. Um, Nice little, nice little hood. Um, there you go. Again, lens cap directly on the end, uh, and it won't surprise you to know it's a 58 mil cap again. So, again, if I wanted to fit uh, like that neutral density feel or something, straight on the end. Uh, and I say 52 millimeter cap. I've got two of these uh, little Lumix lenses. Um, as I know, some of you that uh, look at my blog will. Uh, will re realise I've just bought the second one, the black one, I've got a silver one um, again identical hood, two of those same hoods um, apart from their colour um, and they, they are great um, so I take the message for me is, is just is, is price but not just price, price and convenience uh, as I say the price is obvious when you look at the differences between the cost of uh, say these, these hoods and uh, they're more expensive uh, proprietary counterparts. 
but also the convenience of being able to, as I say, put a lens cap on the end and not have to fiddle around inside the hood, or, and equally so to be able to take that lens cap off and screw a filter directly in quickly uh, again without having to uh, uh, to muck around. So uh, removing a hood, or uh, because that's what I'd have to do. Uh, if it wasn't for this arrangement here, if I wanted to fit, say, the 58mm again, um, neutral density filter, a 58mm filter I've standardised on, I would have to remove this hood, screw in a step-up ring, 37 in this case, 37mm up to 58 and then put on my filter. And if I want to take it off, I've got to do that all in reverse. Don't have any of that. So just take your lens cap off and screw your filter straight on and, and, and vice versa. So I like, really like that design feature of their hoods. I don't know if other manufacturers have got it, I don't know. I don't think Lumix actually do uh, a hood. and They certainly don't supply one, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't do one either for this lens. It's only narrow because it, it, it's a, a venting hood, like the ones on the uh, 20 and particularly the, the 14mm there. Uh, but, um, you know, it, it does the job. Uh, so there you go. That's not, as I said at the beginning, not, not uh, the most exciting of, uh, <laughs> of subjects perhaps, but I hope that if you've got any of these lenses, um, or you're looking to get any of these lenses, then uh, it will be of interest. So stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.